Have Cups fun. up. Have fun. Yeah, we're hitting the bottle today, guys. I'm not. Uh, I'm not playing around with my seltzer. <laughs> it's a full size. Mandy, why don't you tell us about your weekend? It was wonderful. A lot of people showed up. The professor who was uh, hosting was amazing. This man named Heath Hoffman, and I met women who were there between the ages of 18 and 75. And I, it was incredible just listening to all of these women. I talked to a lot of women after the talk um, about why they were there and just over and over, it was just kind of the same message of we are we are tired of the same system. It was just like the boost of energy. I can't wait till you all start coming to these because I felt like on top of the world after that. Uh, as far as whether what Dick and Jim are doing, I honestly think they just realized that by appealing the confession of judgment, they're opening Alec up to m- the possibility of more damages with you. So I, th- I think it's simply that they made a bad decision in appealing the confession of judgment. That said, um, I do want to talk about this this line of victims that um, the deadline has now passed, right? Or is it today? It's October 29th. Um, right. Who is paying for all of these trials that you, Attorney General, want to do? You want to try them on the Satterfield case? You then want to try them on the picnic case. You then want to try them on the Plyler case. These are the criminal cases. And he's asking a legitimate question. Who's paying for these cases? Cuts down, everybody. Great show. Down. Great episode. We should probably get into what we want to talk about today because it's a pretty big deal. Um, it's huge. You know, it's huge. And, and one of the things, I think there's a couple of things I want to touch on, so I just want to tell you guys up front. One of the things I want to talk about is, A, is this the worst thing Dick and Jim have done thus far? And then the second thing um, is whether this is going to delay the trial. Um, because, um, obviously this is not, this is like a, a multi-purpose tool for Dick and Jim, this writ of prohibition that they filed last week. If it's delayed, it shows every other lawyer in the state that like you can pull this nonsense and attack a judge out of nothing, based on nothing. And that's just not right. I mean, I think that the Supreme Court needs to say something and do something immediately. I... I think that that would be okay if he recused himself and I guess he could he maybe be able to say like, well, it was an emergency situation and had I not recused myself then. Well, there was two separate motions, um, guys. The first one was the writ of prohibition, which is to prevent him from hearing the motion for a new trial. The second motion was a motion to delay and postpone the Satterfield criminal trial. The main thing is they don't want him hearing the motion for a new trial. It's not that they don't want him to preside over the Satterfield case. The real uh, gravy for them is the big thing, is the big show, is that motion for a new trial. I think it's time to say cups down, guys. Uh, That was a robust show as we've ever had on some good disagreement, intellectually disagreeing. And I can see your side of it, Liz, and I appreciate it. And uh, we always don't have to agree. That's the the beauty of uh, cups, cup of justice.